Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, I'd like to thank you guys for helping us hit 2,000 subscribers. And we've been getting a ton of subscribers recently. So, yeah, we appreciate every single subscriber that uh, subscribes to the channel. And every single nice comment that we that you guys send. And, yeah, we try to heart a lot of your comments that uh, we really like. So, make sure you guys keep on commenting and keep on subscribing. So, yeah, if you haven't yet subscribed, only 4.5% of you guys watching this are subscribed. So, make sure you guys... Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications for more content. So, I'm gonna be ranking today the uh, all the POIs in Fortnite, and these are only be the POIs that are currently in the game, which is at the beginning of season three, in week one. And I'm not gonna be including risky reels, the shark, dirty docks, and craggy cliffs because they're all completely submerged and there's nothing really left of them, so you can't really rank them. So at number 13, I'm going to be putting Steamy Stacks, and this is because Steamy Stacks is a really like barren area, I don't really like the theme of it because it's kind of just bland, and there's not that many chests there, it's just kind of boring to drop there because it's really far off the edge of the map. So yeah, not many people drop there unless it's for challenges or stuff like that. So yeah, that's why I'm ranking it at the uh, last position. So coming up at number 12, this might shock a few of you, but I'm putting Retail Row. And that's because this is a super old location, hasn't really left the game at all. And it's just getting kind of boring to drop there, at least during this season, because there's so many new exciting uh, water covered POIs to drop to. So next, I'm going to be putting in Rickety Rig. And this is the remains of the rig from last season. and. This rig has a vault which lets you get the remains of the old vault, which is kind of cool. You don't really need a key card or anything. And the reason I'm putting it kind of low is because nobody drops there. They rather go to like Fortilla, which is right next to it. And also, the islands are really, really spread apart. So it's kind of weird to drop there because there's not that much loot either. So the next one on the list is going to be Frenzy Farm at number 10. And that's because this Frenzy Farm this season is kind of a boring location to drop uh, unlike last season. And that's because it's been covered with water and it's kind of lost its purpose. It's like an open area, but it's still really cool because you can get corn there. So pretty cool to get some uh, new consumables. So number nine is going to be Holly Hedges. And I'm putting it at number nine because hasn't changed at all since last season it's just sitting in the middle of the water nothing really changed about it so it's kind of boring there's more interesting areas to drop next i'm going to be putting down sweaty sands and at the number eight position because it is a lot better from than last season because they've added all these new crash pads just sitting around it and a bunch of other stuff and you can always find loot sharks there it's always very exciting when you drop there so the next one's gonna be Lazy Lake because this is still a pretty good place to hot drop and people still go there. Otherwise, if nobody actually went there, I'd be ranking a lot lower because it hasn't changed at all since last season. So now I'm gonna be ranking at number six, I'm gonna put Fortilla and that's because it's a brand new location and I actually like dropping there because it has pretty good mythic weapons. And yeah, it's a pretty cool, cool area to drop. So the next one is going to be Salty Springs, and that's because uh, Salty Springs, it's, it's a lot better now because it's like, it's more exciting because there's water surrounding it, so there's a lot more competition, and like people aren't going to drop in like the outskirts of it, people have to drop right on the inside, so it makes battles a lot more interesting. So the next one I'm going to be ranking at number 4 is going to be The Authority, and it's because this uh, this the, the authority is a lot better than the agency from last season. I actually didn't like the agency that much But once they've added this entire like wall system around it It makes it a lot more exciting because you can like surprise people for, by going over the wall and other stuff And also the mythic weapons are pretty good. Although the drum gun has been nerfed the The sort of Batman glider thing is pretty cool and I actually like using it So the next location is going to be Pleasant and that's because Pleasant Park has been improved a lot since last season. And I think when they added all the crash pads and the water, it made it a lot better. And I like the soccer stadium a lot better than how it used to be with the um, the henchmen. And because I like dropping there back in the older seasons. And 
yeah, that's why I'm putting it at number three. So next up on the list is going to be number two, which will be Caddy Corner. And the reason I'm ranking at number two is because this is definitely the closest we've gone to Tilted since, I guess, Neo Tilted. Because this place is has, it's so small and so many people drop there because I guess there's a challenge to open up the vault right now. But still, it's a very, very popular location. Whenever you drop there, you can expect a ton of kills. It's closer to Tilted than the agency was. Because now once it's switched to the authority, there's a lot less people dropping there. And yeah, and the mythic weapons are so much better. Because we got the shockwave grenade launcher, that's probably one of the best. I think that's the best mythic weapon in the entire game, in my opinion. So yeah, that's why I'm ranking at number two. And the last one is going to be Misty Meadows. So this is definitely my favorite drop spot on the entire map. And I always drop there because... It's got like the best loot on the entire map in my opinion, except for like the mythic weapons. It's still got the best loot and you can always expect to find a ton of people there. And they've also added back like a boat racing area on the left island, which is pretty cool. And they brought back the old house on the main island. I actually like the shadow safe house, but still it's a pretty good drop spot. I used to always drop there last season and this season. And yeah, it's a pretty great drop spot because it's very easy to rotate around from and there's that pretty cool whirlpool that's right off the dam instead of Hydra 16. Yeah, I hope you guys liked that video. And if you guys uh, want to rank these differently, let me know in the comments. Just let me know how you would rank them, what your favorite POI is. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe.